Hello there, welcome to Ross and Healthy. It's Yulia and let's face it, the desire to help other people when you switch to a healthy diet, a raw vegan diet, you go vegan, is something that we all naturally experience because you love your family members, you love your friends and you want them to be healthy and well. So I'm going to give you five tips that can help you on your mission as an educator and as a health reformer. Number one is educate yourself. Teacher, teach yourself first. You need to educate yourself in the area of health if this is what you want to be telling other people about. You know, you've got to be ready for questions about protein. This will be one of the most commonly asked questions. You've got to be ready for questions about carbohydrates and weight, you know, higher raw food diet, different to a cooked food diet, for example. So in order to be in a position to answer all these questions, you need to invest your time and energy into educating yourself. Books like The 80 10, 10 Diet by Dr. Douglas Graham is just essential. Uh, the China Study by Colin Campbell, again, is just a uh, must read. And uh, uh, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Greger, they're all there promoting this message. So um, they're all educated beings who know what they're talking about. So you can learn from them. You can also visit um, the product page of our website where we've got different educational resources. Number two is do not be fanatical about raw veganism. It is normal to get excited about this path. It is normal to have the desire to um, tell about this path to other people. However, becoming fanatical about it will not help you to spread the message in the right way. Raw veganism is not a religion or dogma. It is just an aspect of health. Yes, indeed, it is this sort of aspect that most people get wrong. That is, it is an aspect of the whole. It is not the whole itself. So it is not the answer to everything. So um, it is just important to know that and uh, not to become too dogmatic in your message. Because when you're dogmatic or fanatical about it, when you, you get really frustrated, you can get uptight, you can get angry and aggressive in your message and this will be expressed by your body language and by your subtle energy fields which people will pick up let it be your family members your friends or your colleagues or wh whoever it is that you want to um, tell this message so this will turn people away from you very, very important for you to uh, bring yourself into balance first and then put this message across. Number three is do not get attached to the end result. It is impossible to save the whole world, to heal the whole world and it is really not something that we need to invest our energy into. We are here to plant seeds like in nature some seeds will grow some seeds will not and it's just something that happens naturally so some people may not be ready to make this rapid change they may make it um, later on in their life or they may never make it not in this life maybe in their future life um, but you you will plant a seed and whether or not they will uh, make that change later on in their lives they will remember your words you know they do have hearts and they do have feelings as well so it is likely that when they change they will remember what you told them so um, it is not that you've wasted your time you've planted that seed so start by sharing information with your family you know let them read the China study let them read the 80 10 10 book Re let them uh, watch Earthlings, which is a life-changing movie. Let them read testimonies of uh, the, the results of people who have overcome the sort of diseases that they have. And um, if they're bees, for example, let them read about people who have lost weight on this diet, um, on a vegan, raw vegan diet, low-fat raw vegan diet. So it is very important, it is very empowering. Number four is be gradual. You will need to have a lot of patience in spreading the message of health. 
amongst people who are not aware of not just their own health but the way their diet impacts on the environment. It is very, very important to be gradual and to approach it step by step. So once you've shared information with them, with your family or friends or colleagues, and you know, you, you, you're not seeing them change, then help them. Perhaps say, okay, can I just show how to have a healthy breakfast and let's commit to a week of healthy breakfast. So we will just have smoothies, green smoothies for breakfast. Um, we will have big salads before our meals and um, I, I'll, be, I'll be there for you, I'll be very happy to help you, I'll be very happy to guide you and let's see how we feel after that. You know, and when your mum or dad feels more energy, they will want to be eating what, what you're talking about. They will start listening to you more. Take them on a jog, take them on a hike together. Just, just engage with them a bit more. It is not enough for us to just tell people what to do we've got to show them they really they have no idea and I'm sure if you prepare a yummy dinner for them a yummy filling dinner they will love it they would love that they would appreciate that love and care from your side uh, rather than you telling them that what they're eating is wrong just show them how to do it the right way or maybe you can just all get together in the kitchen and you can all prepare dinner so they have this idea of how to make fresh salads of how to make yummy raw dishes raw vegan dishes you can use our book deliciously raw dinners it um, has got 36 delicious low-fat raw vegan recipes they're all very healthy let them see people doing it, other people doing it, uh, show them YouTube videos or uh, take them to a uh, raw food gathering where they can see other people doing this lifestyle as well. And finally number five is be loving and caring. When you come from the heart people can see it, you know they pick it up, they get inspired by it and the the fact that you are understanding rather than judgmental right from the start is something that helps people transition faster. You know, just, just recall yourself back in your old days. Would you like to be reminded that what you're doing is wrong? Or would you like to be loved, cared for and just told how to make things better but in a very loving and caring way? You know, that, that's very, very different because it, it then inspires people to step onto this path and to be on this path rather than turn away from it and, you know, see you as someone who attacks them for what they do. Not educates them, but attacks them. And uh, that creates conflict and separation. And it's that desire to be wanting to keep going, to keep going through times of confusion, times when people don't seem to hear you and then experience time when everyone opens up and they get drawn to you they want to know what it is that you have to say it's all part of our path so guys all the best for your mission in spreading the light on this planet in changing this planet changing the lives of other people and just keep at it